Hey friend, it's Gregor here and in today's video I'm gonna show you 10 ways to play the A major 7th chord for guitar. So let's dig into the lesson. It's always good to know more than one chord shape for whatever reason. Maybe you wanna play a song or maybe you just wanna increase your uh, or work on your fretboard knowledge and then it's definitely good to go along the fretboard and play the same chord on multiple positions. So in this video I'm gonna show you how you can play the A major 7th chord. Let me first play it for you so that you know what you're getting here. So before I show you the first chord shape, you definitely need to know of which notes the A major 7th guitar chord consists. And the root note is A, the major 3rd is C sharp, the 5th is E, and the 7th, the major 7th, is the G sharp. So let's dig into the first shape. And it's this one here. And as you can see, it's an open chord shape, so you are using your open A string, that's your root note. Then you need your middle finger on the second fret on your D string, that's your E. And then you need your G sharp, which you can find on the first uh, fret on the G string, it's this one here. And then you need to drop your ring finger on the second fret on your B string. And you need to play the high E string as well. That's the first chord shape. Let's move on to the second. And it's this one here. Here you got your uh, lowest note on the A string on the 4th fret, so it's your C sharp. Then you got your A on the 2nd fret on your G string. Then you need to drop your pinky finger on the 5th fret on your B string. That's your E. And then you just need to drop your uh, ring finger on the 4th fret on your high E string. And that's your G sharp. Alright, let's move on to the third shape and it's this one here. So place your index finger on the 5th fret on your open E string, that's the A. Then you need your ring finger on the 6th fret on your D string, that's your G sharp. Now put your pinky finger on the 6th fret on your G string, that's your C sharp. And last you need your uh, middle finger on the 5th fret on your B string, which is your E. Alright, let's move on to the next shape and it's this here. So here you got your index finger on the 5th fret on your low E string and then you need your uh, middle finger on the 6th fret on your D string, that's your G sharp. You need your C sharp which is played with your ring finger on the 6th fret on your G string. And now drop your pinky finger on the 7th fret on your A string, that's your E. So this one here, this one here, this one here and this one here. Okay, let's move on. The next shape is this one. So here you can play definitely the open A string because it's an A major 7th chord, so that's your root note. And your pinky finger plays the root note as well on the 7th fret on your D string. Your ring finger is playing the C sharp on the 6th fret on your G string. And your uh, middle finger is playing the 5th, it's the E, 5th fret B string and last your index finger is playing the 7th on the 4th fret on your high E string. Alright, let's move on. The next shape. It's this one. So you are playing your index finger on the 7th fret on your D string. And now you need to play a little bar across the high strings, namely the G string, the B string and the high E string. So. Use your ring finger to play the 9th fret on the G string, the B string and the high E string. So that's your E, G sharp and your C sharp. And 
And here you definitely need to avoid the uh, low E string. And in most cases, I would definitely avoid the open A string as well, because this shape, it's probably, it's very likely that you are gonna use it for some funky playing, like, or something like this. So let's move on to the next shape. And the next shape is this one. Be aware that you are playing the C sharp as your lowest note here, so it might not be suitable for some situation where you need to play the root note. Uh, for example, if you're a G if you're the only one who's playing rhythm guitar, that might be the case. All right, so place your middle finger on the ninth fret on your low E string, so it's your C sharp. Next, use your index finger to play the seventh fret on your D string. That's your A. And then you need your um, ring finger to fret the ninth fret on your G string. That's your E. And last, you need your pinky finger on the ninth fret on your B string to play the G sharp, which is the seventh, the major seventh. All right, let's move on. The next shape is this one here. Use your pinky finger for the 12th fret on your A string to play the A. And now your ring finger to play the C sharp on your D string on the 11th fret. Next you are need your uh, index finger to play the E on the G string, it's on the 9th fret. And simu simultaneously you are fretting the G sharp with your index finger as well. Alright, next shape is this one here. Maybe a little weird, but anyways, definitely a usable shape. So use your uh, middle finger to fret the 12th fret on your A string. That's your A. And now you need your index finger for the 11th fret on your D string. That's your C sharp. Then you need your G sharp. Play it with your pinky finger on the 13th fret on your G string. And last, you need your a ring finger uh, to fret the 12th fret on your high E string. That's an E. All right, the last shape is this one here. And it's similar to the first one, but it's an octave higher. So here you are playing your index finger on your 12th fret on your A string. That's your A, your root note. Then you need your ring finger to fret the 14th fret on your D string, which is the E, so it's the fifth. Then you need your middle finger to fret the 13th fret on your G string, which is the G sharp, so it's the seventh of the chord. And last, you need the major third. And that's your C sharp on the 14th fret on your B string. So. Well done! I hope that this lesson was some kind useful to you. If so, then please hit the like button. Uh, if you got any questions, then post them in the comments. And until then, stay tuned and have fun!